أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسولنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي صدق الله عظيم respected uh, believers my brothers and sisters in Islam inshallah uh, we'll try we cannot finish this topic it takes about three hours so we'll continue, inshallah, until Adhan, inshallah. The challenges of our youth and the real role model for the youth and for us as well. If I ask this question, those who wish to predict, to guess, a nation's future can analyze the education and upbringing its young people. So that means we have to bring up our future generation. Those are the youth. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teach us to care about our youth, to make dua. What kind of offspring, children, do we want? It is not about to be proud of many children. I have 10 sons, five daughters. So, to raise good children, good generation, strong, faithful. The next generation should be, must to be stronger than us in faith, in dunya and in together. To focus on balance. الدُّنْيَا مَزْرَةُ الْآخِرَةِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teach us to ask this dua but it is not only dua we have to work for it Allah did not say يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِنْ تَدْعُوا اللَّهِ يَنْصُرْكُمْ Dua is not enough, right? First, إِنْ تَنْصُرُوا اللَّهِ يَنْصُرْكُمْ Then you ask for the dua قال الله تعالى رب جعلني أي سي رب جعلني مقيم الصلاة ومن ذريتي ربنا وتقبل دعاء be proud of this kind of youth and future and generation and children oh Allah make me give me ability to be among those مقيمين الصلاة who establish the salah for you and my offspring, my children, oh Allah. Rabbana wa taqabbal dua. So this is not enough to pray, but kabul is very important. Oh Allah, I did such and such for you. We just fasted Ramadan. Oh Allah, taqabbal. I have done my job. That's it. I go. That is not working for your boss you have done your job and go you get your salary no to get our salary from allah it is not enough to finish the job did we finish the job with ikhlas for the sake of allah or we add some other politics into it some personal interest some riyah 
Sum'a. May Allah protect us from Sum'a, from Riyah, from show off. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who had pious children, the best. His children, his daughters, Hassan and Hussein, and his family, Ahlul Bayt. But still Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala order him to do this, to follow this. وَأْمُرْ أَهْلَكَ بِالصَّلَاةِ وَاسْتَبِرْ عَلَيْهَا When we come for Fajr, for example, and we do not bring our children to the Fajr, we feel sad, right? This is very important. The Sahaba, until they make sure their children are up and making wudu and ready for the salah, for the masjid, they will never come to the masjid. And Rasulullah himself would call his beloved daughter, Fatima to Zahra and Ali bin Abi Talib, for the salah, then he would walk, continue. He woke them up, then he would continue. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَأْمُرْ أَهْلَكَ بِالصَّلَاةِ O Muhammad, order your advice, order your family, families, your children, your uh, whoever, household, whoever live in your house, your wife, brothers, sisters, order them to establish the salah. وَاسْتَبِرْ عَلَيْهَا Do not give up. Do not just do it for a few days and then quit. Keep doing it as وَعْبُدْ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى إِتَيْكِ لَقِيمُ When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, worship your Rabb until the death comes to you. Does not mean only do it yourself, don't care about others. No, you do it, you advise others. All together, you practice, you establish the salah. And we see that Islam gave us very huge responsibility. This is amana. What is this amana? If I ask to myself, what is the amana, the trust that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala entrusts us with? وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَاكَةِ إِنِّي جَعَلُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةِ It's right there in Surah Al-Baqarah. Vice Jaran. What does it mean, Vice Jaran? It has nothing to do with leadership or ruling or running or power. And no, Vaishan here means to apply to a practice the way of Allah, which is written in the Quran, which is written and applied by Rasulullah. If you do that, that means you deserve to be Khalifatullah fil Ard. And Everybody dreamed to have a son like Ismail alayhi salam, right? When the father, Ibrahim alayhi salam, told him, Oh, my son, inni ara fil manami, inni adbahuka fandur madha tara. I saw in my dream, I was totally, what do you think? Qali ya ibetif alma tu'mar, do as you are ordered. Satajiduni inshallah min as-sabirin. Pious, loyal. Submitted to Allah and dutiful to the parents. We need to raise children like that and make dua to have these children, not to get this response. Don't tell me what to do. I am smart. I have college degree and I am free. No. Oh, my father, as you say, as long as. It matches with the rules and regulations of the Islam. Otherwise, لا طاعة لمخلوق في معصية الخالق. Even if your father ask you to do some معصية, some sin, you should not obey him. But you cannot reject him by disrespecting him. Raise your voice and fight against him. No, still with beautiful manners. He said, "Oh, my father," as Ibrahim alayhi salam said. Quran said that in Surah Al-Luqman, وَإِنْ جَاهَدَكَ عَلَىٰ أَنْ تُشْرِكَ بِي مَا لَيْسَ لَكَ بِي عَلْمٌ فَلَا تُطَعْهُمَا Do not 
obey them when they ask you to commit shubhat. But treat them nice with respect and be kind, polite to them. Even though they are asking you, forcing you to worship idols. Subhanallah. So azim, great. You cannot tell them, oof. And, Ya abati, lima ta'abudu ma la yasma'u wa la yubsuru wa la yugni anka shay'a. Approach of Ibrahim alayhi salam, his dealings with his father Azaf. Oh my father, why you worship idols? They cannot hear, they cannot harm, they cannot benefit. Oh my father. Even though he was really responded, faced the challenge, threat by the father. I will stone you. Get away. Qala salamun alayk. Sa'astaghfiru laka rabbi. He did not tell him, Oh my father, I don't care. You are going to Jahannam. You are going to Jahim, the hellfire. You will be burned, punished. No. Qala salamun alayk. Ay salam mutaraka. In peace, I am leaving you now, my father. But I am not going to forget about you. What did he say? Sa'astaghfiru laka rabbi. Innahu kana bi hafiyya. I am going to ask Allah to make dua for you. I will ask Allah to forgive you. I will ask forgiveness for you, my father. That is the pious son. That is the son that Ibrahim al who knows, who knew the rights, hukuk al walidain. And we know that from the Quran. And shkurli wali walidayk. Allahu Akbar. Do you hear any ayah like that? Say, oh Allah, oh my servants, Ibadullah, give thanks to me than to your parents. No, only for parents. Allah give this right to the parents. It does not mean shirk. Giving thanks to Allah means worshiping Him. Giving thanks to the parents means obey them, make them happy, and be dutiful to them. Take care of them. When they get old, don't send them to nursing home. Have rahmah for them. Why? Why they brought you up, raised you, suffer for you, struggle for you, starve for you, sacrifice for you. They give up their comfort for you. And now they are old, they need your help. You don't help them. Wallah Rasulullah said you will never go to Jannah. If your parents are old, you don't take care of them, you don't please them, they die angry from you, with you, and you will not smell the Jannah. May Allah give us pious children. As the Quran teaches us to ask for pious children. رَبَّنَا هَبْ لَنَا مِنْ أَزْوَاجِنَا وَذُرِّيَّاتِنَا قُرَّةَ أَعْيُنْ وَجْعَلْنَا الْمُتَّقِينَ إِمَامًا Respected believers, we have to show mercy for our children. Wallahi mercy. How? by not destroying their future. Which future? Dunya? No, I'm not talking about dunya. Akhirah. Rasulullah said, Laysa minna yarham sagirana. Who, do, who, who does not respect the elders and who does not show mercy to the youngest, he's not among us. What he meant by that? You should care about their iman, about their faith, as you care about their comfort, as you care about their food, their place to stay. You should care about their iman. To be like, to be like Ibrahim alayhi salam, to be like Yaqub alayhi salam. Their concern was their iman, to save their iman, what they are going to worship. Am kuntum shuhada before that? Wa wassa biha Ibrahim u benihi wa yaqub. Ya beniya, Ibrahim alayhi salam. Ask his children, Inna Allah astafa lakum uddina fala tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun. He did not tell them, Oh my son, I'm going to buy house for you, to leave you camels and to leave you good money. And that was of course the responsibility of the father too. But that is easy. Allah has 
وكيل فور ذس الله توك ذا ريسبونسبيلتي اون هيم سيلف بات ايمان اند كفر بيج تيست سن اوف ادم هاز وما خلقت الجن والانس الا ليعبدون تو بريتش ذس تو ترين تو بوت ذس into your children's heart to train them with this or to remember always what is my job duty why i am here otherwise they will be in big aimlessly in big loss they will not have purpose in their life this is the reason that many youth they have depression they use very bad uh, lifestyle They follow very bad lifestyle, drugs and alcohol and all these bad things. Why? Because we are neglecting them. We are not spending enough time with our children. Do we know that? Every parents, including me, do we spend one hour a day with them? No. Half an hour? Weekend. Weekdays, public school have them. Bad environment have them. They form them way that they like the lifestyle which has not pleased Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also and do not die except submitters of Allah submitted to Allah and then Yaqub alayhi salam came he gave some advice Yaqub alayhi salam did not ask ma ta'kuluna min ba'di wa ma ta'faluna min ba'di he said ma ta'buduna min ba'di That is the role model for our youth. We should teach, educate our children to take Anbiya, the role models. Quran is first, and the Sunnah is second, and the lifestyle of the prophets. What you gonna worship after me, O oh my children? What was their answer? Because he did his job, Yaqub alayhi salam, of course, their answer should be positive without hesitation. They said, قالوا نعبد الهك واله ابائك ابراهيم واسماعيل واسحاق اله واحدا our son we worship of course the uh, the ilah the god of yours uh, the one that you worship and also your father isaac and grandfather ibrahim that lifestyle that path that aqida that faith will worship إله واحدة ونحن لو مسلمون. You see they repeated إله واحدة. You know, and ونحن لو مسلمون we are subject to Allah. When young people are free to choose, this is the question: What are they likely to prefer? You see, not salah, not siyam, rare, very rare. We must bring them up to be friends. Train them to be friends of virtue and enemies of immorality, indecency, and immodesty. To teach them this. This is our job. Until we help our young people through education, they are captives of their environment, as we mentioned. They wander about aimlessly, without purpose, the lifestyle they have. And they moved by intense, strong, and extreme passions and far away from knowledge, wisdom, and reason. A nation's progress or decline depends on the spirit and consciousness, the upbringing and education given to its young people sound knowledge and good lifestyle. Nations that raise their young people correctly are always ready for progress. Otherwise, they're impossible to take a step forward. This education goes both. is spiritual education, religious education, and both. A young person as a young tree, source of power and strength and intelligence And if trained and educated properly, he or she can become a hero who overcomes obstacles 
and contributes for society. And youth are capable to do that. Youth have the strength, the energy. We have to motivate them, educate them, train them. With remote control, which is the Quran, the teachings of Quran and teachings of Prophet Sallallahu Make them to benefit the society. Remember this hadith, Rasulullah Sallallahu said, Khairun nas, man yanfahun nas. Another narration, Khairun nas, anfahun bin nas. The best among you who help the people, not only who help the Muslims, people, creatures, Allah. And some of them, we see that some of them today, youth was their left abundant by their parents, they are busy to compete with one another. That is also uh, some, uh, what you call, uh, some youth in Rochester, they share with me. They say, Sheikh Ismet, this is the problem that we have. He's, uh, you know, MSA president, Brother Rashid. He said they compete, they are busy to compete with one another. I say why? They want to show off that they have uh, good stuff and technology and games and, and iPhones. And, and he said some of them spend 12 hours. It's very bad. He said some of our friends, college students, they spend 12 hours on games and internet. And this is the biggest challenge today. We don't see that. Yes, me and you, we have iPhones. But when the children have this iPhones, what they watch? Everything is under their, their hand. They can watch anything. They can click anything right there. It is very dangerous. It is very bad. It is shame. Imagine what they can watch. iPhones, they have them. And I said, why they do that? They say, because their parents, they don't they believe they don't give them respect, they don't spend time with them, they don't love them, they give them stress, they do not care about them, they feel that. And their competition is in those things which they will give them benefit. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teach us, yes, we have to compete with one another, but on what? Fastabiqul khayrat. Fastabiqul khayrat. Compete with one another to do good, to benefit others. It did not say fastabiqu bi ittiba' shahwat. No. Fastabiqul khayrat. When you compete with one another, you should think that. I want to provide more service to others. I want to help others. I want to bring something positive. I want to add something, contribute some positive, make people ha help happy and do something good. And your always goal should be anything that will please Allah. Helping someone is also to bring him liquor that is helpful, no. Anything will please Allah. When we say pleasing people and fawun bin nas, Anything will please Allah, you do it. You compete with one another. Giving zakah, help, learning Quran, teaching Quran, understand the Quran. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us, ma andakum yanfadu wa ma and Allah baq. So we have to teach our children this. Ma andakum yanfadu. You have iPhone, you have technology, you have good education, alhamdulillah. You have good life of standards, good, and you have a comfortable life. But know that that is important, but not the most important. What is most important? What Allah asks us to do. What is with you must vanish. You'll be exhausted. What is with Allah will remain firm and endure. And we will certainly bestow on those who patiently persevere the reward according to the best of their action. And may Allah give us 
better understand inshallah we see that in the quran uh, nuh alayhi salam nuh alayhi salam subhanallah allah gave him very difficult task with his son so sometimes we cannot blame the parents i do my my best but innaka la tahdi man ahbabta walakinni ma yahdi man yasha al hidaya bi yadillah right and we do our part he could not convince his son to follow him to be among the believers wa nada nuhu rabbahu fa qala rabbi inna ibni min ahli wa inna wa'daka al haqq wa anta ahkam al hakimin fa kana min al min al ghabirin min al mughrafin fa kana min al mughrafin he drowned and died and he said oh allah you promised me and he is my son my family member subhanallah allah called his son he is not your family member innahu amalun ghayru salih another qira'a innahu amila amalan ghayru salih he did very bad conduct and action his bad amal he disobeyed allah he opposed allah was you or Nuh alayhi salam, he is not your family member. Of course, that is the example that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Do not rely on your children. Children are very difficult test. Everyone, even if uh, when your children are fire still, you have tests with them also. And we see that our children are so important. There are so many ayah in the Quran. وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا رُسُلًا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ وَجَعَلْنَا لَهُمْ أَزْوَاجًا وَذُرِّيَّةً ذُرِّيَّةً Offspring Very important Progeny And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَجَعَلْنَا وَرَزَقَكُمْ مَنْ أَزْوَاجًا وَجَعَلْنَا أَزْوَاجِكُمْ بَنِينَ وَحَفَتَةً وَرَزَقَكُمْ مِنَ الطَّيِّبَاتِ وَرَزَقَكُمْ مِنَ الطَّيِّبَاتِ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Blessed Zakaria alayhi salam blessed him with Yahya alayhi salam when he asked for a child did he ask for any child no what is a dhurriyatun tayyibah what is tayyibah again pious one the one that will make you proud not to make your life miserable and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him Yahya alayhi salam who was Yahya look the son the dhurriya that Allah prays in the Quran Yahya alayhi salam was Ya Yahya khud al-kitab bi-quwa wa atayna al-hukma sabiyya Allah gave him hukm prophethood wisdom wa halana min ladunna wa zaka Allah put the love of Yahya in the hearts of people when they sin they love him was a cat pious what kind of taqiyya that kind of offspring youth Allah prays in the Quran wabarram bi walidehi is very important we see this also with Isa alayhi salam right when he said wabarram bi walidehi Yahya said wabarram bi walidehi Allah prays him he was very respectful dutiful to his parents walam yajahu walam yajalhu Jabbar and Asiya. He was not disobedient. He was respectful. Worshipping Allah and not committing sin. Also uh, giving thanks, uh, dutiful to his parents. And Ibrahim alayhi salam, we see uh, Ismail alayhi salam. Wadhkul innu kana sadiq al wadi wa kana rasul nabiya wa kana ya'muru ahlaw bi salati wa zika. The life of the prophets are clear in the Quran. We cannot adopt any other way. What Ismail Ali Salam should do? What can he do? He would order his children to pray the salah and to give the zakah, obligatory alms or voluntary alms. So Rasulullah did same thing. Salah, salah, salah. And then Allah say that was the way of the prophets. And then. فَخَلَّثَ مِنْ بَعْدٍ خَلْفٌ أَضَاءُ الصَّلَاةَ وَاتَّبَعُ الشَّهَوَاتِ فَسَوْفَ يَلْقَوْنَ غَيَّا 
the generations came after them. Prosperity. Posterity came after them, future generations. They abandoned the Salah and they followed the Shahawat. Ghaya is a name of Jahannam. May Allah protect all of us from the Jahannam. SubhanAllah. What they did? They did not deny Allah, but what they did? They did not pray Salah, they followed their Shahawat. Imagine, this is enough for someone to attain punishment of Allah. So we should not rely on the forgiveness of Allah. Be careful. Yes, we should do. But Allah say, فَلَا تَغُرَّنَّكُمْ الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا وَلَا يَغُرَّنَّكُمْ بِلَا الْغَرُ Do not let the forgiveness of Allah deceive you so you don't do your job. You, you forget everything. You say, Allah is Ghafur Rahim. Allah is Ghafur Rahim. But Allah is Azizun to intiqam also. Allah is Ghafir them. Yes, we call it Tawb. Also, also Allah is Shadidul Aqab. Severe in punishment also. When someone insists, rely on his forgiveness, he does not move his finger to do good. Allah will forgive me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may not. When we think about the ayah, Inna Allah wal ghafur rahim, la taqlatu min rahmatillah, inna Allah yafur dhunubi jami'ah. When we remember this, we should remember also, Inna Allah is shadid al -iqab. And we should remember, Wattabu shawat fasawf al qawn al ghayya also. And then we see that the advice of Luqman, every young man, boy and girl, every young person should read Surah Al-Luqman and memorize it. We should, you know, teach our children, our youth to memorize Surah Al-Luqman. If you read it, subhanAllah, look at the advice of Luqman alayhi salam. One opinion says Luqman alayhi salam was a Nabi. One said, no, he was a wali, pious. It's not a problem, right? It's not important. The important is, what is his message? If I show you the moon, you don't look at my finger. The point is to show you the moon, look at the moon. Something like that. The advice is important. What is the teachings, lessons that we get from this ayah, Quran? Huh? And, ya bune, the first advice, ya bune la tushik billah. Inna shikr la dhulun adhum, big oppression, big zulm, wrongdoing as shirk. But second, subhanallah, salah. Ya buni aqim salate. Of course, the second was, is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remind us to be, to give thanks to the, to Allah and to the parents. And then, salah. Wa'mur bil ma'roof, wanha anil munkar. Salah is not important. In, in, enough salah my salah is not enough only it is not gonna save me my salah because Allah say what more bil marufi did you advise the salah to your family members I did to your friends no well mistake you have to to your children you have to to your brothers sisters this is how we have to make the daira circle big large starting with our families family members and relatives and so on and the akrabin you know and the start fresh and then to order the good advice the good and not to support the evil whisper in the dark and also it's very important the teachings of the Quran regarding not to follow falsehood fake which is not sound knowledge which is not gonna benefit us it's very important that's what also that teach us to make this dua Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min alimin la yanfa wa min qalbin la yakhsha wa min nafsin la tashfa wa min duain la yusma we have to teach this to our children and practice it at home about nafs, never satisfied, you know? That's why we see that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, Prophet sallallahu said about, it's very important, you know, qana'ah, 
to be happy for what you have. Hadith Sahih. You know everything that I, sh I am sharing, just reminding. I know you know everything in this, uh, in this regarding this uh, topic, of course. And very famous hadith, لَوْ أُوْتِي إِبْنُ آدَمْ وَادِيًا مِنْ ذَهَبِ لَتَمَنَّا إِنْ يَكُونَ لَهُ وَادِيًا Do you know this hadith? Of course. فَلَنْ يَمْلَأَ فَاهِ إِبْنَ آدَمْ إِلَّا التُّرَابُ وَيَتُوبُ عَلَى مَنْ كَفْ If Allah gave to son of Adam full of value of gold, he would desire to have the second one. And nothing can satisfy him. If Allah gave him the third, he will want, he will ask for a fourth. Death. Allah said, Rasulullah said, wa yatubu Allah ala min tab. What we should ask? Tawbah, tawbah, tawbah. Tawbah is key for the risk. Do we know that? We should know that from Surah An-Nuh. Faqul tu stafu rabbakum inna wa kana ghaffara. Oh Allah, I ask them, ask forgiveness of Allah. And then Allah has forgiven, and then yursili samaa alaykum idrara, subhanallah. Allah will give you risk Provision, sustenance from the sama, water, we mix with the dirt, and that is the how Allah give us the risk. May Allah make us among the kareen Allah. And Rasulullah said that, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every day istighfar 100 times. Do we have time? This will take another three hours. We can stop. Okay, let me know when. Inshallah. Inshallah. And uh, now, the good news is, the best news. SubhanAllah, do we know after our death, we can be still alive? We can still pray. We can still read Quran. After our death, we can still get hasanat. We know that, right? We should focus on this. To raise pious children, is more important than yourself, to train yourself. Their good ibadat a'mal is better than your, yours. Do you know why? You may not have done enough. You have so many taqsirat, shortcomings. It's Allah forgiveness. Allah may forgive you. But imagine after your death, the children you left behind you and so on and their children. If you leave behind your past children, trust me, they will leave behind them past children too. This is how it is. Because for every child, the father has role model and the mother for the girls also. وَلَدٌ صَالِحٌ يَدْعُ لَهِ إِذَا مَاتُ إِبْنُ آدَمَ You always read the hadith, do we reflect how we apply it? Like in, in, in this in Columbus, how we can apply it? The hadith is clear. Subhanallah, behind you, pious child to pray for you. That will make your credit on until their death. Then they will raise children, your grandchildren. Their good actions, good dua will reach to you also until the day of judgment. And do you know what's going to happen? Yawul Mahshar. Walladina amanu wa attaba'atum dhurriyatuhum bi imanin. Alhaqna bihim dhurriyatuhum wa ma'alatnuhum min amali min shay. Allah will join the family, subhanAllah. That is big happiness. وَمَنْ صَلَحَ مِنْ آبَائِهِمْ وَأَزْوَاجِهِمْ وَذُرِّيَاتِهِمْ وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ يَدْخُلُونَ عَلَيْهِمْ مِنْ كُلِّ بَابٍ سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ بِمَا صَبَرْتُمْ فَنِعْمَ عُقْبَ الدَّارِ Please listen this ayah from for Sheikh Mustafa Ismail. Please. Those Surah Al-Ra'ad. Subhanallah. Those Allah says in the Quran, Surah Al-Tur and Surah Al-Ra'ad. Those children, they may not have same level of Good deeds with their parents does not matter. Allah will join the family together. Will put them in same Jannah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Arhamur Rahimeen. He is Arhamur Rahimeen. Allah will show mercy to his servants by giving them Qurrat A'yun, what they were dreaming for it. 
to have their own children together with them. And uh, to remember also, alhamdulillah, uh, you know, there are so many issues, but the time is, uh, I'm sure that you know this, you know, uh, challenges that the youth have, uh, the most important challenge the youth have, divorce. Divorce, parents. Divorce, parents. Uh, sometimes that's what Rasulullah said, Abghadu halal illallah at talaq. Sometimes divorce is maybe one hal, one way, uh, but one uh, man came to Umar ibn Khattab, asked him, Ya Rasulullah, astaghfirullah, Ya Amir al Mumin, I want to divorce my wife. He said, Why? I don't love her. Look the answer of Umar ibn Khattab. He did not accept. He said, if you do that, I will beat you up. He said, every marriage and good family is not built on love. Even that is not enough for divorce. I don't love her. Too late. You have children and live, raise, train your children and keep the marriage, keep the marriage for the sake of your children. Otherwise, your children will suffer. If you divorce, we just said, Rasulullah said, Waladin salin Are they going to pray for you because you divorced their mother or to pray against you? Just sacrifice. Remember, be patient. Soon you will die, you will die. The life is too short, does not work to destroy one family, to make another family, to build another family. That's why uh, we have to understand divorced parents will cause big suffer to their children. Wallah al-musta'an. Allahumma jama'a minal ladhiya istami'una al-qawla fayattabi'una ahsana. Allahumma rizukna tamama ni'ma wa dawama al-afiyya. وحسن الخاتمة وعلم النافع ورزق واسع وأولاد صالحة وقلب خاشع ولسان ذاكرة وعمل متقبلة بشفاء من كل داء. Always every dua has ولد صالحة. آمين يا رب العالمين. Let us give some time to you know to brothers and sisters. Yes, Professor. Easy question, please. Yes. Çok güzel.
Çok güzel. But uh, did we answer those questions during the lecture? Or maybe because of the time we, we missed so many. How to raise our children? I think uh, how to raise ourselves, how we can keep our identity, same way we have to keep our children. You see, the public schools have our children eight hours a day. When we bring our children home, if you turn on the TV and internet, as parents, we are holding our own iPhone. We have to dream about raising good children. We cannot. You cannot raise, there is two ways, three ways to raise good children in this, in this country. First, you have to be good role model for them. You know the children, they take their parents as role models. Whatever they do, they follow it. And to spend time. I know many brothers, subhanAllah, with their family, they have after Fajr, Quranic, Halakatul Quran after Fajr. And they read from Riyadh al-Salihin, every day one hadith and two hadith. I know families, they memorize so many ayah from the Quran, chapters, and hadith. And they pray with their children with jama'ah at home. Then they bring their children. I think we have to. Every Muslim should come pray one salah a day. Either Fajr or Maghrib or Aisha with their children. You know, we have some uh, class, uh, some activities uh, in Rochester. When I see the parents are there. I ask, where are your children at home? What they are doing? Homework, okay? Homework does not take whole day. How about Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? So you have to bring your children to the masjid. Whatever you do, you have to keep them, make them part of it. And yes, the second thing, that is more important also. We have to learn from children of Israel. They have nice, did you see their neighborhoods? They have their own schools, their own neighborhood. Alhamdulillah, I like this, uh, the neighborhood, mashallah, Muslims living uh, close by. And high schools. And you should also compete in good things. Look, Hamza Yusuf. He just built Islamic college, right? Islamic studies college. So we have to increase the numbers. One is not enough. And every neighborhood should have also Islamic high schools. That will be with your effort. Spend time, spend money, and spend your knowledge also. And spend something. And yes, there are so many challenges. That's why our job is how to face, to solve those hardships, issues, and difficulties of the youth. Yes, brother. May Allah bless you. Zakaria Qandahulawi, right? Actually, if you read for Madahib, the old talaq, three talaq, is counted as talaq ba'in, baylul al-kubra or not? 
If you read for Madhahib, you will see the answer yes. But then, late the scholars, the University of Al Azhar today, that is the fatwa they give, even in Saudi Arabia, in Islamic, they say in the time of Omar al Khattab, we see that in also in fiqh books, in the time of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, three talaq in one time, one majlis, one time, together, three talaq used to be considered one talaq. They say Omar al Khattab, he saw that people playing with talaq, anti talaq, anti talaq, anti talaq, and to, I don't know, you know, and that was the fatwa from Omar al Khattab, they said. So he made the three talaq, three alfaq, even if you give three talaq in same time, in same majlis, that will consider talaq, so your wife is banat minki khalas. And they said, look, but today, Ibn Taymiyyah and many other scholars, they said, no, three talaq, that is the fatwa there, three talaq in same time as one talaq. What fatwa we use? We use the fatwa which is late fatwa. We consider those talaq given by some brothers out of anger. You know, there is talaqul ghadid, ghadban. That is not valid according to Jibril also. If you are really angry, you give for talaq. That's why you have to study for madhahib. We give the easiest answer, fatwa, which will give more chance to the family, to keep the family together. If you go to some uh, person who follows strictly one madhahib, he would give you one answer. That's why we have to you know, study the whole fiqh, qadiman and hadithan, and see what is the fatwa currently. Three talaq in one time as one talaq. Even if you give three talaq, another three, another three in different majlis, if that person was very angry, they don't consider that talaq valid also. Allahu alam. You don't want me to talk about after talaq, what's going to happen? You don't want to go there, right? Another question? You can do both. The ulama said, if your zakah, the amount of the zakah that you will pay, you will give, if it is big amount, you can divide it. If it's small, you can give it to one person to take care of his, you know, uh, to remove his, uh, what you call it, to help him, to take care of his uh, needs and uh, to give him some relief. Any other? Yes, ma'am. ساعورض على الأقل يكفي أن يكون هناك وقت بين المغرب والعشاء على الأقل ساعورض أو أكثر. So the the صلاة المغرب between صلاة المغرب وصلاة العشاء. What is the minimum time? The ulama said some say one and a half hour, some say one and two, one hour and twenty minutes. Uh, I would take the one, say, one hour and 50 minutes, unless you are traveling, or health condition, or many other reasons. If you are hadr and muqim, and there is no any storm, anything, so no, it should be like minimum one hour, one, and, uh, and one hour and uh, 50 minutes. That is different, though. That's what you can do it under Fajr. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, what the what the book say? What the Rasulullah advises us? If you want to pray Qiyamul Layl, 
you play Qiyamul Layl and you, you, you pray, uh, then you close it with Witr. The ulama, what they say, if you pray your Witr after Isha, and then you go home, you step, you woke up, you did uh, Qiyamul Layl, uh, they say it's good to repeat it again. But I never repeat it. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Nawafala. If you talk about Sunnah, Sunnah Rawatib, that is strong Sunnah. We call them Sunnah, Sunnah Takmiliyah, Sunnah al Muakkada. That is two rakah before, uh, before Fajr, either two or four together or separately uh, with two testim or one after the Khanat school, four before Zuhur, uh, two after, and two rakah after uh, Maghrib, and uh, two rakah after Isha. That was Sunan Rawatib, those are Sunnah, strong Sunnah, Rasulullah started. Are you asking about other Nawafil? Like uh, Salat al-Duha? Yeah, Rasulullah Sallallahu For example, for Salat al Duha, Rasulullah Sallallahu did all of them. But there is there are some uh, which call Nawafil, they don't have any record from the Quran, from the Sunnah. People, I don't know from where they get them, get them. I never saw them in the books. Uh, they say if you pray uh, 1,000 rakah in Laylatul Qadr, this will happen, and Laylatul Bara, and this and that. There is no such a thing. There is no fixed uh, uh, rakat and, and salah. There is no salah of Laylatul Qadr, actually. There is no salah Laylatul Bara'a. Salah, uh, you have option. You can pray as much as you want, you know. For Salat al Duha, for example, Rasulullah said, the joy of human being, there is Sahih Hadith, uh, uh, 3960. And you have to pay zakat. The Rasulullah said, how we can pay zakat? To pray to Raka as the zakah of the joints of your body. For example, who started Rasulullah? He never quit, but Rasulullah start. Rasulullah continue always eight Raka of Salat al Duha. And Qiyamul Layl, who started? Rasulullah started. I, I, well, the, the, all the prophets, they had their own way, of course. The way that we are praying it, Rasulullah started eight Raka Qiyamul Layl. And Tarawi, Tarawi in Ramadan is also Qiyamul Layl. Any other question? Yes, doctor. Please, sorry. Smart Mashallah. You know, this is this is technology tool. Mashallah. There are so bad stuff inside, and very good stuff. So many ulama, scholars, reciters, and many good things. You know, you can, whatever you watch, whatever the children see the parents are watching, usually they want to try it. And also, again, you know, check balance. We have to control our children, do our best. You know, and uh, it is again, smartphone is the biggest fitna of today for our youth. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashadu anna Muhammad al-Rasulullah. Hayya ala salat, hayya ala al-falah. Qad iqamatu salat, qad iqamatu salat. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah. 
أقيموا يرحمكم الله واخشعوا في صلاتكم وصلوا صلاة الموتى الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين إنما جزاء الذين يحاربون الله ورسوله ويسعون في الأرض فسادا أن يقتلوا أن يقتلوا أو أن يقتلوا إنما جزاء الذين يحاربون الله ورسوله ويسعون في الأرض فسادا أن يقتلوا أو يصلبوا أو تقطع أو تقطع أيديهم وأرجلهم من خلاف أو ينفوا من الأرض ذلك لهم خزي في الدنيا ولهم في الآخرة عذاب عظيم إلا الذين تابوا من قبل أن تقدروا عليهم فاعلموا أن الله غفور رحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وابتغوا إليه الوسيلة وجاهدوا في سبيله لعلكم تفلحون إن الذين كفروا لو أن لهم ما في الأرض جميعا ومثله معه ليفتدوا به من عذاب يوم القيامة ما تقبل منهم ولهم عذاب أليم الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضال يريدون أن يخرجوا من النار وما هم بي 
خارجين منها ولهم عذاب مقيم والسارق والسارقة فاقطعوا أيديهما جزاء بما كسبا نكالا من الله والله عزيز حكيم فمن تاب من بعد ظلمه وأصلح فإن الله يتوب عليه إن الله غفور رحيم ألم تعلم أن الله له ملك السماوات والأرض يعذب من يشاء ويغفر لمن يشاء والله على كل شيء قدير الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمله الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله